bro. Jack Hama is giving Pickle a hug. You never thought you would ever see it, but here it is right here in the flesh. The newest chapter of Baki Rahan chapter 22 is officially out, and I have the translations. I'm going to be doing a review and breakdown of everything. Man, this is absolutely amazing. Pickle, I've been thinking about you, and Pickle is just absolutely taken aback, and Jack is hugging him as if he was one of his heroes. He was one of his inspirations for Gudao, or however you say it, I don't care, the biting martial art. Uh, inspired by Matobe primarily, but Pickle definitely had a big time influence on everything of Jack's whole journey as well. He is known as the toughest man in the world, protecting Andrew the Brick Wall the first manga panel of the new chapter, His Life in the City of Pickle, chapter 22 of Baki Rahan. We have Pickle in a thick coat. Even though it's summer outside, he is still dressed very warm. That probably has to do with somewhat of his more cold-blooded nature. I would just assume via evolution stuff that he actually has to dress a little bit warmer than we all normally do in order to be comfortable. But man, he is looking thick. He is looking so cool. All the battle scars, the thick skin, everything like that. Still looking extremely formidable, maybe even taller than before. Although later on, it's interesting, Jack actually looks taller than Pickle. Now, Pickle does have that slouch, but Jack is actually looking quite monstrous in comparison. So I cannot wait to be able to cover that and get to y'all's thoughts on it right here. Yeah, this panel right here, I singled this one out. Jack is looking absolutely monstrous. He's technically the same height as Pickle as whenever Pickle first fought him. But now Jack might be a little bit higher because of the slouch and stuff. Or maybe it's just the angles that they're standing at. I don't know. Maybe Itagaki just made a little bit of a mistake. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. A couple of announcements that I wanted to uh, do before we go ahead and uh, did a breakdown of this chapter is. I'm sorry that I didn't get the Acolyte early screening out. I had an opportunity to see it early. And I was going to hate watch it and bash it with everybody. Because it's basically just a Knives Out movie that has the exact same plot line about the twins they've already ruined it via the spoilers and their advertising and stuff and because only lucasfilm disney run by all those sjw's could do something that stupid and mess up something that important they've already ruined their own plot tips for the show and it already cost them so much money to be able to make this piece of trash but i'm not going to cover it because i didn't get a chance to because i actually had to go to court over my daughter and i won i spanked the crap out of them and i'm going to be winning over the final trial that's happening in july so i'm going to be having my daughter back that was kidnapped for almost a decade yeah it's a big story if you want to know more about it then i'll happily talk to you about it in the comments so i appreciate y'all support on that also tonight later on tonight there is going to be the release of Baki versus Kengen. If you want early access to Baki versus Kengen videos that I'm going to be putting out on my channel, if you want those fights right away available on my channel, then you join my PayPal memberships. I know they're a garbage company, but I need them until I get my own process server in a couple months, and just your support would be highly appreciated. It's on the monthly option. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah! And if you can't do that, I understand times are tough with the creepy Joe inflation and all. At least subscribe, hit the bell for notifications on all so you can see all my future content in any event. Smash that thumbs up, like button, leave a comment, support the mess up YouTube background, share this around with everybody that you know. And I encourage you to boycott the Acolyte with me as well. That's my new rendition since I didn't get a chance to do the early screening. That's what I'm going to be doing now. Not even them giving any stats for hate watching or anything like that. And I think they all should do the same. From what I'm hearing about it, we're all better off and I'm sure it's true. Get on with it! Another reason you got like Baki Rahan and all the rest of the Baki material, it's all very right wing stuff. It'll never hashtag get what go broke like Acolyte or any of the rest of Lucasfilm will ever do. A giant, even in his slouch, even in his crouching position, he is still an absolute giant. He still stood one or two heads above the rest of the crowd, barefoot. And despite the summer weather, he wore a thick coat. Like I said, it's probably that cold-bloodedness that the evolution didn't come along with. He probably is like at a 77 degree position within his body. And humans are 98.6. That's their average, as we all know. And he's still wearing like nothing on his feet. I'm sure that concrete is hot. Y'all remember going swimming and be like, ow, ow, ow. Just, oh, a giant grifter, people are speculating. But when they focus their eyes they could tell how tough his skin actually was. And you can pause the manga panels if I ever go by too fast for for y'all. I apologize. You can't do it too much because the copyright, the uh, trolls over in Japan will actually copyright strike your video just for covering their content, bringing more eyes to it because they're so stupid. 
But yeah, they're like, he probably isn't a homeless man. It just doesn't seem to be the right fit. But boy, he does so many similar things. And whenever I saw this next panel, I was like, no, you're kidding me. Like, I believe it. Like, it seems legit. This seems like that's something that would actually legit happen. But these ravens have been messing around with people's human trash for too long. They just sit by sides humans now because they're so used to them and they know they never attack them. But uh oh, nope. Here comes Pickle. And right as they're taking off, he's actually so quick that he's able to grab them. Two and with each hand uh, and one in his mouth. Ah, just like the anime sound effects within the Baki anime. And Pickle eats the birds. He eats the birds. You know what? This is so cool. With so many things, little things, that he basically just scavenges around looking for whatever he wants. He doesn't mind eating out the trash. He thinks it tastes good. Oh my god, there's about to be a gross thing that's coming up too. But this is really cool art right here. Itagaki being the goat once again. This is super cool stuff. So basically, he can just eat a bunch of little snacks all day. Since he doesn't have anything super huge to eat, he just goes around scavenging for little snacks. That's pretty interesting. That's why Pickle is able to be getting so huge and stuff. And the crowds, the people that are watching are just absolutely just like, what in the world is going on here? What? what? Oh my god. He's he's eating them. <laughs> I love all the callbacks and all the dub memories that we get from the anime. And we just apply it to right here. I was basically able to take a lot of the dub from the previous you know, animes and put him into the new chapters whenever it came to Yujiro, you know, fighting his son or talking to him very hastily. He's eating three birds at once and he's licking his chops. He actually enjoys it. Like he's just like, whoa. And he ate them whole two bones and all. Boy, I would hate to see what his crabs actually look like. And then this is the gross part right here. I, I understand why Pickle would do this. This is really good writing by Itagaki, but oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine that he's a human doing this? something's gotten his attention and personally i thought that he was taking a pee that's what i thought that it was indicating at first but no it's not his pee that's actually him drinking the fluids from the trash he's literally about to gobble it all up i'm not kidding guys he gets down on his knees and they're like no nah? no way and he actually drinks it as if it's a delicacy as if he is enjoying this it's just not for his health He's actually enjoying it. He drinks up every last drop. Oh, that is so gross. Oh, oh my God. He just, there's other manga panels where he's just looking buff and broad. And his calves are freaking huge. And he burps and he's just like, Ugh, like that was satisfying. Like it was a good meal. And people are wondering if he's going to be okay. I do not blame them in the very least. And here he is in his crouching position, just still being absolutely monstrous compared to everybody else. And this is the manga panel where we finally get it. The dreaded manga panel, the one that everyone's been looking forward to, where Pickle notices Tokugawa and Jack in the background. And it's going to be so freaking epic. This kind of art right here with Jack just waiting for him like this, looking ultra menacing, look like an ultimate anti-hero, just looking swole and ready to fight. And Tokugawa just sitting there looking all two or three feet of him, basically. Oh my gosh, this is great stuff right here. And this is what I mean. Jack looking quite a bit more monstrous than Pickle. I understand Pickle is eight feet tall as well and possibly could have grown some even since his last measurements when we first got him in the anime. But he is slouching, but Jack just still looks so much taller than him. It looks just like a little bit of an inaccurate drawing, but I'm not going to harp too much on this. This is all just angles. This is all just perspective. Itagaki drew it the way he wanted. So I'm just giving not even a minor criticism, just an observation that maybe has to be smoothed out later. So whatever. People believe that these dudes are so tall that they're going to be in a movie shoot. That the only way that these people could actually exist and that they could actually be interacting like this with each other is that there is some sort of special circumstance going on. And who can blame them? And Jack looking up at him and getting Pickle's attention. Like, I made a fan fiction all about Jack's first fight that he has leading up to his father, Yujiro, and I honestly thought it was going to be Dopo. Now, that being said, y'all need to check out that fan fiction. It's short and crisp and qu quite quaint. Like, it's just very crude, but it's still really, really good. 
But if it ends up being that uh, Pickle is going to be the first one, because I actually put Pickle in there too. Pickle is a part of that one, and uh, part of my fan fiction too. And it will still be great either way. But the fact that he's actually going straight up to Pickle this fast, or who knows. Because Tokugawa seems very intent that Jack is going to challenge him here. And he actually says, no, we shouldn't do it based on that smell, because the smell is so stenchy. He is just reeking so much that even Tokugawa, who is used to these manly scents and these sweats and everything from the arena, even he is just like, no, no, Pickle is just too much. And he's just like, and they're all looking around. Is he a mascot? Is he wearing a costume or something like that? And Pickle is just absolutely enamored with Jack and his vibe. And I honestly believe, I put this in my fan fiction, I honestly believe that there's not going to be a super huge fight between Jack and Pickle. I actually think that there's going to be a respect and camaraderie between the two of them and it doesn't mean that they will never face off against each other again but in my fan fiction i put and this is why i still honestly think that J jack is going to put off such an a terrifying vibe his his martial arts ability is going to be able to be sensed by pickle and pickle is basically going to cower away he's going to run away just like he did against with musashi there's no shame in his game there's no anything he's just going to be like no i don't want none of this jack is too intimidating he's too imposing i don't want none of this uh you see these metal teeth and stuff like that you see all that i don't want to get bitten by that stuff and pickle's just not going to have anything to do with it and then baki is going to come up to him and uh he's just going to be like hey dad i think he's ready for you that's all of the stuff i put in the fanfic and it's really good stuff and i really think that y'all will enjoy watching the rest of it and enjoy discussing it you know based on that sorry i had to stop by and tell you all this this is just my channel this is i love talking to y'all about the baki rahan new material and stuff like that the stench is just too much can we we can't do this right here and then jack actually steps up to pickle with no hesitation and tokugawa is taken aback he's surprised and he gives pickle a hug this is so sweet this is so cool ever since then he's talking about the defeat you know that pickle handed jack twice in one day ouch but he had to accept that he lost twice in one day for the second time all this time ever since then pickle he gives him that embrace and hug I've been thinking about you. And that's where the chapter ends. What a great way to end the chapter off. And I love this. This is great stuff right here. Once again, Itagaki continues to prove why he is the absolute GOAT. Thank you very much, Josh, for editing this stuff and translating this stuff. It is always highly appreciated. I can't wait to see what y'all have to say about this chapter in the comments. Any prognostications that are made within the comments will be shouted out in the next uh, chapter review as well if you get it right. So make sure you leave me all your thoughts on that stuff if you want early access to those fights. Again, the Baki vs. King and stuff that's being released on anime on Netflix in a form tonight. Then make sure you join my memberships monthly option and you can communicate with more, more with me on if you want any more info or have any questions just based on that. Like I said, before sub like hit the bell and all comment share all the good stuff follow me on my social media platforms like facebook rumble twitter instagram tiktok bishu i think x and rumble the most important ones links to that being in the description first comment too there should be some tasks up on the screen right now or in a few seconds of other content i think you'll enjoy if not let's check your fans check the rest of my channel there's something on here for everybody not just baki and kengen content but dragon ball anime content fiction content whatever i find fitting and whatever i want to talk about that time but there's also early screening movie reviews basically every major movie and show and there's also so, you know, my professional fight coverage of the USC fights, my own professional Muay Thai fights. Once again, all will be linked. And that's basically it. Thank you for listening to me rant. I'll see y'all later. Peace out, my friends. Uh, thank you. You see what I've spent my whole life becoming? Good food. Good drink. Women. Money. Fame and glory. I've given up on all those things. There's only one thing that truly satisfies me! I want to be strong. That's why I abandoned everything else. I was always training, even to the point of incontinence. I pumped so many drugs and roids into myself, I nearly died. I wanted to make myself bigger, so I had my bones lengthened, and I got taller. But that cost me unbelievable pain. Everything I've done has been for one purpose, to gain strength. That and that alone is what my whole life has been about. And now here I am, representing the modern age. So tell me, boss. I'm doing pretty good, don't you think?